ValveTime.net. Hi, and welcome to the Valve Time News. Each week, we'll bring you the biggest talking points regarding Valve software and the community. Now, the news. Valve celebrated the official release of Big Picture Mode earlier this week. The optional Steam UI redesign was released in beta earlier this year as part of Valve's continued push to see PC gaming become more open and accessible for users. The controller-focused design allows gamers who prefer controller setups to play their favorite titles and navigate all of Steam's features. During the announcement, Valve were keen to mention that over 800 Steam titles now feature partial controller support, while around 70 games feature full controller support, including the majority of Valve's game library, which, well, we'll get to in a minute. The announcement was accompanied by a 10-day-long Steam sale dubbed the Celebration Sale, which ended on December the 10th, 2012. The sale celebrated the large variety of games which now feature full controller support on Steam, with many deals featuring reductions of around 75% off. In case you missed the sale because the episode is late and you rely on us for up-to-date news, fret not! You will have just over a week before the Steam Winter Sale begins. How will we all cope? Speaking of big picture mode, Team Fortress 2, Dave Defeats Source, and Half-Life 2 Deathmatch all received full controller support last week. The update, which arrived on December the 4th, follows the previous two weeks of updates for Portal, Portal 2, Half-Life 2, and the sequel episodes, which have all been updated with support for big picture mode. Oh, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive and the Left 4 Dead games have had controller support for a while, we just never talked about it. This also marks the first ever time we mentioned Dave Defeat or Half-Life 2 Deathmatch on the show. Yay! I'm surprised it took us this long, considering how much we seem to mention Ricochet, of all things. In a follow-up story to last week, the winning video of the Saxi for Best Overall was revealed on Friday the 7th of December at the Video Game Awards on SpikingGameTrailers.com. The winner of the category is Soymon with Story of Eccentric. Congratulations to Soymon. You can check out his video at the link available on screen now. It was also a big day for Valve as Half-Life 2 was announced as the official VGA game of the decade, and then a presenter from actor Zachary Levy's nerd machine accidentally called Gabe Gary. Ouch. Gary. Gary, Gary, Gary. Anyway, congratulations to Valve on winning. It's kind of an amazing achievement and a testament to the game's quality that the title is still receiving awards over eight years after the game's release. Now go, Valve. Go and do it all over again. Do it for us. Love, Valve Time. Dota 2 received an update this week, which once again brought a number of visual and behind-the-scenes changes to several elements of the game. Death Prophet, Silencer, and Wisp all received skin changes which modified their color palettes to make them more distinctive on the battlefield. A collection catalog was also added, allowing players to display all cosmetic items, couriers, tools, and pennants currently within the game and compare them against items they own. The upcoming tutorial mode received a temporary mini-map overlay which show how a brand new tailored map in the shopkeeper's bird Rockalair will be used to help teach new players about the game's mechanics. Several of the unreleased heroes also received content updates including Medusa, Tuscar, and Shredder, who had recently been renamed Timbersaw during his transition to Dota 2. Most exciting of all is the inclusion of the snow-themed winter map, which was added to the game files in a similar manner to how the Halloween-themed map was added several weeks before the update went live. Several images and animations were also added which hint at the upcoming game mode, including the appearance of a new Grievel and some presents. Yay, Christmas! A link to the full update analysis on Cyborg Matt's blog will be available in the video description. Not to be outdone, the Counter-Strike Global Offensive team also released an update earlier this week which buffed the decoy grenade and made a few significant changes to GOTV. More interestingly than this, however, is the release of a new video in the CSGO Pro Tip series. This latest video focuses on Fifth Lauren, a professional Swedish player currently a member of NIP, which stands for Ninjas in Pajamas. No joke. Throughout the video, Fifth Lauren demonstrates a variety of popular tactics he and his teammates use on the classic map DE Nuke. A link to the video will be available on screen now and at the end of this episode. Reddit was added again this week as the community somehow unearthed knowledge of some of Valve's potential future plans. It was discovered that Valve's IT manager, Chris Grinstead, had registered three separate domains for the company in August this year. The three web domains are freetoplaythemovie.com, aheadofthegame.com, and aheadofthegamethemovie.com. But what does this all mean? Well, what we do know is that Valve are currently working on a video documentary which followed the events of the 2011 International Tournament as revealed by GTTV earlier this year. We don't know anything else regarding these web domains, so whether or not these projects are related is another story altogether. We look forward to seeing what could potentially materialize from Valve in the near future. 
The Left 4 Dead ongoing content team announced via their Twitter page this week that the first invites to the Left 4 Dead 2 Workshop beta were being distributed. Sadly, we didn't get any. But apparently Glenn got invited to the Steam Linux beta, so I guess that's something. We'll keep you posted if we learn anything else about how Left 4 Dead 2 and the Workshop will work together to provide Steam users with maps, campaigns, and mods. In merchandise news, Gaming Heads, Valve's official statuette partners have revealed the Sniper, the most recent addition to their Team Fortress 2 statue range. A teaser trailer and image released alongside the announcement have shown off the two different varieties of statue that will become available, including both red and blue team variants, as well as exclusive versions with an added Razorback. Pre-orders for the statue are going live on Tuesday the 11th of December, so head on over to GamingHeads.com via the link in the description to keep up to date. Pre-orders are being taken on a first-come, first-served basis. NECA, another of Valve's official merchandise partners, released a feature on their website earlier this week which provided fans with a behind-the-scenes look at the development of the upcoming full posable Pyro and Demoman action figures. The figures feature over 25 points of articulation and both come packaged with an in-game unlockable item code upon their release in January 2013. There isn't really a whole lot more to say other than a link will be provided in the video description if you want to go check it out. Oh my god, Pyro, what did they do to your hand? I think we'll leave it there for another week of Valve news. Don't forget to subscribe and share our videos with your friends. Head on over to our website to get involved with the community. Oh, and just in case you follow our news updates on Facebook, you might want to head on over and subscribe to our page. Since the kind people at Facebook enjoy limiting the user reach of specific posts for groups unless we pay them some money. Well, tough luck, Mr. Zuckerberg. You aren't getting any of Glenn's retirement fund. Last week, as part of Valve Time's News Time Trivia Time, we asked you what year Valve was founded. Many of you, as always, commented with the correct answer, which was 1996. Yep, Valve was founded 16 years ago, and during that time, Valve had built up quite a library of games. But how many total games have they worked on? Leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. We'll reveal the answer on next week's episode. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more Valve Time videos, news and reviews coming soon, and bye for now.